Good day. So this is the general career and money message for North Node and Virgo. Whether you're employed, self-employed, both, or unemployed. Just take what resonates when it comes to the tarot. Personal career readings are available. Links are in the description box. Universe, what message do we have for North Node and Virgo? North Node and Virgo, you guys are learning to clear your energy. And staying grounded and in your root chakra. Using your intuition when it comes to your money. <clears throat> yeah, we got extraordinary and divine abundance. Love it. You were born to align with love's wheel, follow the tau, and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant, not chase it. Extraordinary. There is a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. That's good energy. That's good energy. Let's get your sacred wealth code message. Extraordinary and divine abundance. What's the sacred wealth code message for North Node and Virgo? Somebody is understanding that if you want to play life like a game, especially chess, you can't play it without the queen. Your king can get taken, but you can't play it without the queen. Somebody is using their knowledge. Like I said, somebody is clearing themselves, setting up energetic boundaries, being their own visionary. Love it. What's the sacred wealth code message for my North Node in Virgo? <clears throat> You're cutting off communication with somebody. Somebody that you do not see as an honorable warrior. Somebody that was not strategic. You're learning how to collaborate with your own spiritual guide. Your own angels and ancestors. We have the collaborator. Moon energy. I co-create to create. Yeah. I love it. Good vibes, North Node and Virgo. Thank you. <clears throat> so it says... Right now, when it comes to your career and your money, your soul is desiring for you to use your unique genius in connection with others to actualize a vision or goal. The purpose right now for your career and money needs to be to create greater good for the global community through authentic partnership. As a collaborator, you are a relationship builder who is curious, cooperative, and flourishes as part of a team. You imagine a world where everyone is focused on using their unique genius in doing what expands and cultivates a collective vision. So even when you're focused on your own projects, you still work best in collaboration. If you find yourself becoming needy or not getting recognition that you deserve, just know that's part of your shadow self, okay? So that means it's time to step back, reconnect with the soul desire, which is to use your unique genius in connection with others to actualize a vision or goal, and evaluate if those that you're working with are recognizing your how value gifts. <clears throat> So if you, if you find yourself being overly committed 
or overly loyal, you need to step back or you're going to be miserable. Surround yourself with people who love and appreciate your work ethic. Develop your unique genius while remaining connected to the power of we and focus on using your high value gifts, which is being an authentic partner, being committed, insightful, team player, allowing others to shine, focused on your part of the greater goal and being a co-creator to co-create with others in service of a bigger vision. North Node and Virgo, y'all have seen a bigger vision when it comes to your career and money. And the universe sees that. So let's start with the unemployed. <clears throat> what is my unemployed? Now you could be a hustler or just, you know, don't pay taxes or something like that. This isn't self-employed. This means you don't work for a company and you do not have a authentic like business. You get me? Okay. Some of y'all could possibly be recovering from um, your money being stolen from you or your job being stolen from you. You also could be getting quick communication in the near future from a masculine energy about someone uh, manipulating a situation and they don't want to take the blame for it. Could be a Scorpio. You may also see a transformation in your money and career situation, and it could happen very fast. <clears throat> what messages do you have for my North Node and Virgo that are unemployed? We have Nine of Cups, so some wishful thinking going on. Yeah, somebody's literally wishing. Somebody's wishing for a new beginning. Somebody's wishing to be on their divine path and destiny. After going through karma, due to some unnecessary drama, competition, and conflict that has left some people, could be you, needing meditation and rest. Just know from this point forward, your steps are going to be divinely protected. Go ahead and take the leap of faith. The universe is waiting for you. I knew that card was going to come back in the upright, which is why I didn't sit it down the first time for you, okay? You've been in your head a lot about a new beginning when it comes to your career and money. It's been an ending to a situation. Harsh, painful ending to a situation could involve um, a romantic relationship or uh, you're using your intuition possibly about a pregnancy or working together with somebody that uh, does love spells or some type of thing like that and that's not the route that you want to take <clears throat> you don't want to work with somebody that manipulates other people using spell work because that just leads to karma you want good karma and the universe finds you to be extraordinary the universe say you're very unique you just haven't been feeding your values and goals you've been feeding others other people's you've been feeding values and goals of empresses and reverses men slash women that don't nurture themselves they don't care about the world they don't care about what's best for the for, for the world for the greater good of all these don't empress and reverse they don't create nothing this in reverse is no stability, bad health, not reaching goals, not connected spiritually. You done with that shit. I heard it. You said, I'm done with that bitch. Somebody said, I'm done with that bitch. Okay. Let me keep going. Unemployed North Node and Virgo. What else do we have for their career and money universe? Taking that leap of faith. What's going to happen when they take that leap of faith? You got to get out of your head and focus on your health. To get this divine abundance that you want, you got the sun card, eight of swords, and nine of pentacles. And king of swords, yeah. You be analytical. You cutting people off. 
you know what's equal give and take you also know who who is blocked spiritually you ready to get what's yours you ain't had what did i say you ain't with that shit you ain't with all them love spells and sympathy spells and all that extra shit you you didn't learn from that you seen what that does have people looking f naive as fuck gullible Working together to use tarot, got somebody all the way fucked up with the two of swords in reverse and queen of swords in reverse. You done seen how that turns people bitter. They mad because they can't control other people with magic. Where they do that at? You said, no, I don't, I'm good on that shit. I'm good on that. God loves me. <laughs> okay, so listen. Unemployed North Node and Virgo. Let's see what we got for your nine of cups. So, <clears throat> the universe wants you to know. Look forward to moving forward and follow your intuition and honoring your ideas that will lead you to increased prosperity and abundance. Remember, good vibes only. That's the way to be. You understand that's how you gain prosperity okay yeah your third eye and crown chakra on fleek and your throat chakra okay star card in the upright you will be guided towards opportunities when it comes to your career and financial improvements be open to flashes of inspiration and this also indicates that you are healing from a monetary or job loss. So moving forward to get this abundance, to get this divine abundance, North Node and Virgo, be optimistic and enthusiastic doing your job searches. Sorry, doing your job searches or building your business. If you wanna be an entrepreneur, Keep your mind open to new ideas for business models or revenue generation. You may do well working with or for a family business. I'm going to just cut that, <laughs> what I was going to say after that off. <clears throat> Somebody with a family business may be coming to you with an opportunity for you. Because they see your uniqueness. They see that you are supportive, reliable, and loyal. You just was loyal to the wrong wrong person or people. You understand? Yeah. Your gifts are being taken advantage of. And you know it. And you like, no, nah, I'm not doing that no more. So, yeah. Don't feel like there's no way out. And don't look at whatever you just went through as a failure. Just change your mindset. Don't be so scarcity-based, okay? Release yourself from self-imposed restrictions and keep going. Don't procrastinate or hesitate when it comes to some type of idea that you've had of uh, uh, revolving money and career opportunities. You got an idea. Go with it. Go with it. Make sure you relax and recharge as well. Financial security is yours spiritually already. So relax. Recharge. You need to rest. Whatever you just been through was a lot. The universe wants you to recharge. Look, you go get paid for your hard work. It's right here in these cards. What's the nine of cups? And it was 14 minutes and 14 seconds as I said that. Distant horizons. You will get your wish fulfillment. What's the star card? <laughs> You're of high honor. And yeah, yeah, you've been concerned about if the work or reputation or whatever you were doing, if that stopped you from your journey, the universe said no, it didn't. That was part of your journey. It was a lesson for you to learn from that situation. Right now though, rest and recharge, fix your scarcity mindset so you can get them opportunities give birth to that idea 
that's in you. You got something in there that, that's going to come out. It's going to work out. Yeah, you really not stuck no more. You're not stuck. You there ain't no love situation got you fucked up. If you was thinking about an immature ass woman, childish, if that person was gonna change, the universe said no because they fake. Be single. Being single right now will help you uh, manifest this business opportunity, career opportunity, entrepreneur journey. Being single will help you manifest that right now. Okay. <clears throat> all right let's get to my employed north node in virgos meaning you work for an organization or institution company you get a w4 at the beginning of the year w2 i mean somebody may need to update their dependents or something like that on a w4 or else you about to have to pay something back in taxes. Hmm, interesting. Somebody moved too fast. Either you or a coworker. Somebody moved too fast. And um, they're trying to reassess exactly what did they invest in with a new passionate be beginning with a uh, feminine energy that they met off of social media. Somebody else may also um, be becoming unstuck. Someone's releasing stagnation and manipulation. Somebody feels defeated, so they may actually be wanting to take a vacation. One of your co-workers may be taking a vacation soon because they're unbalanced as fuck. Possibly causing some manipulation. Could be an Aries or just somebody foolish and, and gossip a lot. <clears throat> Could be a couple of people. Three of your co-workers might disappear. Three of your co-workers might disappear. Don't let it be a shock. Okay. What does uh, my employed North know in Virgo most need to know? It's 17 minutes and 17 seconds. As I said what I said. What does my uh, North know in Virgo that's currently employed most need to know when it comes to their career and money? North know in Virgo that's employed. Be careful who you're talking to about whatever investments and seeds that you've been planting over the last seven years. Okay. All right. Whoever you've been talking to is in a very, 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 very depressed mindset, mind state, mental illness, possibly suicidal. I'm not saying that to be mean, but you got the Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. That screams suicidal with the Queen of Swords in reverse. This person created something for money. Possibly using divination and tarot. But they were not divinely guided to do so. This person was just intuitive, but they abused their spiritual they abused spirituality. <clears throat> and the universe is now with the hermit in reverse. The universe is forcing this person to walk away from stalking, from holding on to a situation that's very unhealthy with the coven of coven of people and now karmic justice is going to be served they're all out of options they're all out of choices they're all out of illusions this person cannot do any type of glamour spells love magic marry me magic this person is scared and paranoid as fuck so stop talking to them about the seeds that you're planting or have planted once again over the last seven years because that's just feeding the devil to stop you from having your passionate new beginning. Talking to this person is going to cause you to become very unstable, unbalanced, ungrounded. You're not going to know how to give and receive. And you're going to have a lot of towers that could possibly cause you 
to lose your job if you keep interacting with this person. Somebody's also going to be getting uh, some possibly good news about a relationship. Definitely good news about a relationship or marriage situation or pregnancy. Congratulations. If you're getting married or having a baby, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Look, on another note. <laughs> oh, shucks. On another note, period. What's the message? For Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be some transformation going on when it comes to divine abundance. It's going to be some balancing of some situations that took place um, during some moon cycles. Somebody was doing moon magic with magician right there. Somebody was doing moon magic. And that ended their divine abundance. It's, oof. So somebody had it. Look. Somebody had it, but they lost it. They don't have it no more. <clears throat> I don't feel like this is y'all. What's What else does North Node and Virgo need to know? Make sure you use your intuition about who you share your divine abundance with. Okay? If you share your divine abundance with low vibrational people, guess what? That's going to go like this. So... Stay in the upright will of fortune. What else? You're a co-creator. Whatever you're doing at work, you got the magician and the hierophant. You're manifesting. But whatever you're manifesting is, um, your manifestation is protected. But anything that's unbalanced about what you're manifesting is going to be destroyed. Don't manifest anything against an empress. Don't entertain any talk, gossip, exaggerated situations about an empress. Somebody may want to talk about somebody. They're talking out the side of their neck because they're unbalanced with the temperance in reverse. Ten of swords, five of pentacles, five of swords. High Priestess, but it's in reverse, and the Empress. Somebody wants to try to make up a situation about an Empress, or it could just be a child's mother. It's an Empress. They watch this person on social media um, be abundant and what have you. So listen, somebody wants to start a rumor about an Empress out of jealousy because they're going through judgment. They're going through karma. Don't entertain this person or you are going to fuck up your job. I just, I just said that already. If this person tries to contact you, I wouldn't even answer the phone to be honest with you. Like, I just stop talking. I mean, stop listening. Okay? Because this person already put a death to their divine abundance. Do you want to take on their karma? I don't think so. So, you're going to have some transformations taking place in the workplace, Okay? It could actually be a transformation to your money. Um, but I feel like it's good. As long as you're aligned with love's wheel. As long as you are learning to be abundant and not chase it. Your career is going to transform. You're going to go into a next phase. Then we got the Hierophant and Magician. Well, I'll be on that one. Um, you may get a raise. You may have manifested a raise. Or long-term longevity and prosperity. Because you, you know your worth. You've done something in a job place or you're going to do something in a job place that's going to show that you're extraordinary and you deserve a raise. You know your worth. But still positive energy, like I said. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're moving along a path of good fortune and unexpected wealth. 
one career or financial cycle is coming to a close and transitioning into the next stay the course your luck is shifting love it <clears throat> yeah you're cutting off fake people because you know you're an official person you, you found your power and you found your power through the love of god exactly what's the will of fortune Toil and labor, your hard work. You you go get some good news. You go get some good news. What's the magician? Courthouse. What's the hierophant? What's the hierophant? Um, your boss, like say you got a, yeah, you, you, you work with somebody that's currently in a relationship. It could be their child's mother because I didn't see marriage, but they're under judgment because either them or, um, their child's mother is a karmic, like never go change, low vibrational. This could be a male or female. Child's mother, child's father. Take it how it resonates. It's it's the child's father. Um, one of your coworkers, like I said, it could be a boss, like a manager. Since Hierophant is here, so like leader, some like that teacher. But at any rate, they're under judgment right now because they have a child. With the immature, low vibrational, stealing, scamming, feminine energy. This person may be coming to you to get your advice about how to handle a situation. Getting this person like out of their community. Okay? You got to remember, you co-create to create. And it's for what's best of all. The whole world, the whole planet, okay? All right. What's the death card? What's the death card, universe? Yeah. It's, a, it's an ending to all that mental entrapment. Somebody may end up in a hospital. A low vibrational feminine. Mental hospital. With bad health and imprisonment, mental hospital. But remember, I told you that somebody is really out here suicidal. All right. So maybe you guys need to reach out to uh, whoever can help you get that person some help. Or make that person go get help. Okay? <clears throat> but, but giving that person money ain't going to help. So don't do that. And also taking up time to talk to them is not, don't do that. What's the message from my entrepreneur, North Node and Virgo? Entrepreneur, North Node and Virgos, universe. What's the message from my entrepreneur, North Node and Virgos? Entrepreneur, North Node and Virgos, please and thank you. Entrepreneurs. We have brainstorm. So. To my business owners, keep fresh ideas flowing for your business. If you feel stuck, take some quiet time. Yeah, somebody taking a lot of time to entertain people on social media, but you need to take some quiet time to learn and write in your journal and write down everything that comes. Don't take people's ideas from social media. Just decide how you want to balance looking at not even your competitors but just the people that you're connected to on social media within like the entrepreneur groups and stuff write down good ideas you know write down ideas make sure your ideas are in alignment with your core values and your vision for the lifestyle that you want to create you want a luxurious lifestyle a work when i want to work where i want to and that's there for you 
but you have to make time make sure you're giving yourself time to nourish your vibe nourish your body i mean refresh your spirit and raise your vibration for the lifestyle that you want entrepreneur manage your time wisely do tasks that are in your realm of unique brilliance so write down some ideas you might actually need to bring in somebody else to help you like i don't know email management social media building on a website or something like that but you need it's something about your business that you're not managing your time correctly and it doesn't have you in the flow of divine abundance so if you want this divine abundance for your business you have to stay in alignment with your core values and your vision raise your vibration and you do both of those by rejuvenating But whatever your brand is, the universe says it's it's it stands out. So that's good. Yeah. You're of high honor too. Okay, North Node and Virgos. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, y'all vibe is right. What's brainstorm? Yeah. Pick an area in your house. A nice quiet area for five to ten minutes. Write down them ideas for your great fortune. Let's manage your time wisely. Delegate or outsource tasks that drain your energy or tasks that are in your realm, etc. Yeah. I told you, you're going to have to work with somebody. Whoever it is is already... Somebody wants to work. Somebody already has their mind made up. This person could be a um, Leo. A Leo already thinks that you're going to help them. Like, say, say, or well, you could be the Leo. Either way it goes, somebody is already expecting you to, like, hit them up to help them. But you know that they fake as fuck. They might hit you with, you know, I got kids. I got to pay child support. I got a legal situation, et cetera, et cetera. Yada, yada, yada. They expected some unexpected income from you. But they're an energy thief, time thief, et cetera. Don't, don't let that, don't delegate any tasks to your business with that person. They don't even really have any gifts that'll value your business, that'll bring value. Like you can't trust that person to do none of the tasks that you need done for your business. I'm keeping it 100. I wanna know what sign it is for you. What sign does my North Node and Virgo not need to delegate any tasks to universe? Told you, a Virgo. <laughs> I say Virgo right here. I think it is a Virgo. Or a Leo. Nah, I said Leo. I was thinking Virgo, though. What sign does my North Node and Virgo not need to delegate any tasks to when it comes to their business? What sign does North Node and Virgo not need to have uh, delegate any tasks to universe? Please and thank you, my entrepreneur, North Node and Virgo. North Node and Virgo could be a Scorpio. Not Leo. There's an Aquarius somewhere in the equation. I don't think you're talking to this person right now because you found out they was doing something in secret with an Aries. Um, yeah, or either you're going to be finding that out. You might find out, find something out about an Aquarius doing something with an Aries in secret. It was for Scorpio, just so you know. Okay? 
and um, for whatever reason they were trying to bring karmic justice to a Sagittarius in their own hands <sighs> at any who so no Leo okay like their sun sign is Leo don't don't delegate any tasks to that person what's the align raise your vibe and rejuvenate yeah in the near future you may actually um take a step back from your business because a real stressful situation is going to occur could actually involve somebody being in bad health and it's just going to be a lot going on Put it to you that way. It's going to be a lot going on. So that's why the universe wants you to stay aligned with the energy of love. So you can get your divine abundance as this situation comes to a close. This is something that's not quite closed yet. God is working on it. Okay. So if you've been having anxiety about it, it's almost over. What does my entrepreneur, North Node, and Virgos need to know about brainstorming? Yeah, someone was very obsessed with manipulating a situation, possibly using magic or sex. To hold you or somebody connected to your business back and stagnant. That person is a liar, a cheater, and a thief. But you're on you're you're on the right path that you're supposed to be on, despite what another energy is telling you. It's a masculine energy that's not right in the head, and the things that they're telling you is coming from a narcissistic ego energy. It's not from their highest self. Okay, so don't take it personal. Don't even take it to heart, because it's not the truth. Whoever this energy is that's telling you this bullshit is in the Ace of Swords reverse. And the Ace of Cups reverse. This person is not connected to God. This person actually has really outdated traditional ass beliefs about what an empress is supposed to be, what they supposed to look like, what they supposed to do, and nah, fuck all that. Excuse my lingo. But I feel like y'all feel me. What's a great fortune house brainstorm? Great fortune house brainstorm. Great fortune. Oh, shucks. We got some angels here. Yeah, some listen. I, trust me, I know. If somebody tried to do magic on your business or involve you doing some type of magic that was imbalanced towards the Empress, etc. Um, whoever did that stability and foundation is ruined. Being put to rest. They have to really rethink why. They did what they did to an empress that's also a queen of cups. Hopefully your business didn't get involved. Um, maybe you do need to be keeping fresh ideas about your housing situation and about your money situation. I kind of got that energy from there. Yeah, you might have been caught up in some illusions when dealing with your business. But you, you didn't... You, you was in hermit mode. And paying attention to a love situation so your people wouldn't be left out in the cold. You were trying to help somebody heal from a tower from some other narcissistic, toxic-ass energy. Like somebody wasn't uh, practicing self-love from dealing with another situation. But little did you know that was their karma, if that makes sense, okay? That was their, that was their ten of wands. And by you helping that person... Possibly by giving them money or housing that that affected your business. What's managed community and sudden wealth and expectation? Manage community, sudden wealth, expectation, time management, community. Thank you. So look. Yeah, exactly. So we have the nine of swords in reverse. King of cups, upright. 
three of cups and the empress so at the, so you know put wherever you are if you're the king of cups or if you're the empress etc when it comes to your business and managing your time the universe is saying be gentle with yourself especially when you do feel depressed or having anxiety about the financial status of your business because i feel like that's what it is you need to not you need to i would recommend that you treat your financial status um just analyze it you know but you're gonna have to organize people around a cause or event at this point but you could also capitalize on a wise financial investment opportunity at the same time or either that's what somebody's gonna do within your community maybe that's who you need to delegate some tasks and stuff to nevertheless then we have the Three of Cups, celebration, good news, good time. Coll once again, collaborating with people who support you, knowing you have a strong team, making friends with people who work in your industry will lead to new opportunities. And then we have the Empress Energy, receiving money, from unexpected sources or even creating more abundance in your life but this card is about receptivity so be careful not to push and you will need to be patient so maybe somebody's expecting to work with you or you're expecting to work with a couple of people north node and virgo hmm all right <clears throat> Some, some people in this community is not going to be too happy about that. They're also going to try to like be defensive and give you every reason why you should not work with an individual or individuals. But don't pay attention to them. They just, they and they all fucked up situations. They over there in loveless relationships, loveless marriages, loveless situationships, loveless baby mama, baby daddy relationships. They just fucked up. So they go give you fucked up advice. Yeah, don't listen to them. Do your own studies. Do your own studies. Okay? Do your own studies. Especially when it comes to finances and investments. Alright? You may also want to hire an accountant to look at your money and investments thus far. You might find out something. What's divine abundance? Raise your vibe. Align. Rejuvenate. Align, raise your vibe, rejuvenate. Align, raise your vibe and rejuvenate. I hope nobody stole money from you, but um, no, I don't think. Oh, I mean, I don't get that nobody stole anything. I do feel like there's an ending to a to a few collaborations, though, because some money did not come through as they expected. They went into a situation blindfoldedly, listening to a un listening to a greedy money hung witch bitch so that left you in a four of pentacles because you're connected to these people these could be your, your family members your siblings your friends whatever except this is your community so because of a money hungry greedy witch bitch that just was focused on sex and drugs and money you're in a four of pentacles because of that you wasn't really aligned. You caught this person's karma. That wasn't even that that took that took a turn in the wrong direction for you. So align. Stay in alignment with your core values, your vision for the lifestyle you want. Raise your vibration and you will attract opportunities. Rejuvenate. Overall, divine abundance, we got the four of pentacles. Align with love. Because financial security is what's motivating your career choices instead of passion or creativity. You've taken a real traditional role 
but in your current position, you're waiting for physical proof rather than acting on intuitive guidance in matters of business. You need to check your money, your business account. And if you don't have a business account, you need to start one and track it or hire somebody to track it for you. But you're about to have to collaborate with some high vibrational people if you want you if you want to continue having a business operating and you know it being successful. But it did take a hit of some sort because you were involved with low vibrational people, probably entities. That's what I get from it. Because it was like King of Wands in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse. You was dealing with a very low vibrational group of people involving them in your personal brand. And your personal brand is actually good. I think that's why the universe wants you to get clear on your activities in online platforms. Focus your attention on your best clients and customers. And ignore the distractions, okay? Just because somebody coming to you like, yeah, I can get you more clients and customers. Are they the best client and customers for your brand, though? That's what matters. You understand? Okay, North Node and Virgo, thank you for watching my video. And I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you'd enjoy. Bye.